Hi there, Sharon. Thanks for this. Would you please introduce the author of this paper? Oh, yes. Um, so, um, the author's name is Podrick Otuma. Uh, Podrick's mm-hmm. an Irish man. And um, the paper is a chapter out of his book called In the Shelter, Finding a Home in the World. Mm. Um, so it's part of a book. Mm. Does the chapter occur, is it an introductory chapter or from the body of the work? Yeah, it's, a, it's, a first, it's the first chapter in the book. Um, and um, I'm just trying to think how I came to read this book. And I think I'd heard of Padraig Atuma a number of times. I don't know, his name just started popping up in podcasts and in papers that people have written and um, yeah I um, I think I watched a couple of TED talks that he'd done mm-hmm. and then I ordered his book and um, just think it's it's the most gorgeous book I've enjoyed reading it so much it's one of those books that um, uh, you can just dip in and out of as well and, uh-huh. and it's sort of um, each chapter has lots of little kind of sections to it, and you could almost just read each section and then just stop and have a think. You know right, I mean? right. Like, you perhaps wouldn't want to read the whole thing all the way through because there's just a lot that he says that is mm-hmm. worth kind of pondering and, and thinking about. Yeah. Is, mm. th- is there a lot of him in it? Yeah, yeah. he kind of um, tells his story. Um, throughout the book and you know his story is one that's um, got a lot of joy and humor to it but also a lot of struggle and pain Mm -hmm. and he's very open and honest about that and it's it's very much intermingled with his life of faith and um, his experience within the Catholic Church and um, coming to a place of I guess rejoicing in his identity of who he is mm-hmm. and a, a kind of a a peace with the gift that he is mm. Mm. <laughs> to himself and, and to the world. Um, but it's very much intermingled with um, stories from the Bible and um, his take on them and stories of his work amongst people within chaplaincy and, um, and so on. And um, I'm not... Yes, he does talk about his work with the Coromelia Coromela community in Northern Ireland, which is a Christian centre for peace and reconciliation, mm-hmm. and he was director of that for five years. He's finished that now, but um, yeah, lots and lots of stories about different people and thinking ab- about how we move in the world and how we can be people of peace and reconciliation to others. Mm. Yeah. Sharon, why did you choose this paper amongst the many that you're probably aware of Mm. for our group discussion? Well, it kind of coincided with the Easter season and um, thinking about a sermon um, based on John 20, 19-31, where Mm. Jesus appears to his disciples who are locked in a room Mm -hmm. Um, filled with fear and how Jesus stands among them and says peace be with you and the kind of reconciliation and healing that's part of that story and um, Podrick has a just a delightful take on that about thinking about those words of Jesus peace be with you and saying how that can be you know you could see that as a standard greeting at Mm -hmm. the time in Aramaic and you know that sense of Jesus just saying hello to them Yes. And um, the sense of meeting them in their place of mm-hmm. whatever that might have been for them, shame and grief and fear and, you know, all the experiences that they'd had. Uh, and I guess enlarging that to that sense of how, what it means to be met or to be able to say hello to the places we find ourselves in, in our lives, in our, in our every day. And, um, yeah, well, being being finding ourselves in those in those places and somehow finding, um, you know, a sense of uh, healing or wholeness or um, 
honesty with mm-hmm. where we are right. and it, it, that can be a pathway for um, living life wholeheartedly and with courage mm. yeah mm. yeah so I found I've found that kind of intriguing mm. lovely idea mm. 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 I noticed the the structure of the people of the paper is it begins hello to here and then there are different hellos. I'm just looking now at hello to the great generosity. So, and hello to the power of names. And so that's the way the paper's structured. Were there any hellos that struck you more than others? Yeah, I guess it's um, the... I, mean, I can't think of specific hellos, but it, it is that sense of saying hello to the the things that we might feel are kind of shameful or we're embarrassed by or wouldn't want to name or claim as being our own experience. And that that's just as valid a thing to say hello to as any of the other um, things that we might feel proud or happy or... Um, uh, you know, that are places of success for us. Mm. So it's kind of like a holistic, yes, a holistic naming and, and claiming of who we are in life and all of it. <laughs> um, in that sense of where where we might meet God in yes. all of those places. Yes. And, uh, yeah, which is part of the Easter story, I think, too. That um, Going back to that Jesus mm. greeting of the disciples. Yeah, meeting us where we are. In, almost like being able to acknowledge those places um, then becomes the place from which we can move on into right. other places, yeah. Mm. Mm. Rather than trying to avoid or deny them. Mm. Right. So saying hello in that sense is a way of towards transformation of some sort, or mm. acceptance at least. Mm. Yeah, I think so. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Sharon, is there anything else you'd like to say about the paper or the author? Uh, no, just that it's, um, you know, I would really recommend the book in the shelter or any things that you can find online with Padre Gautuma, a um, number of TED Talks or podcasts, and um, he does a lovely poetry um, podcast mm-hmm. on the On Being website where he just takes a poem and looks at it and, you know, for 10 or 15 minutes and talks about it. And, yeah. Uh, just really delightful lovely um things on oh, also he did an interview with kim hill in new zealand when he was here just before the lockdown last year oh. and you can tell that she was very <laughs> very entranced by him which is lovely when that oh, when that uh, happens so that's worth looking up and having a listen to as well mm. yeah. well i can tell by the way you speak and the way you've um outlined what you have spoken of about portray gotuma and the this particular that it speaks to your mind because he does appear to have he's got good scholarship there so mm. it is yes it's got academic ballast it does yeah but at the same time it's spoken to your heart and soul mm. as a as a minister and as a person yeah so people who are interested in in the shelter the book or actually anything by Petrago Tuma mm. will find him on YouTube yeah presumably and yes. TED talks TED talks and uh, I'm, I might try to find that podcast with Kim Hill that that yeah. could well be or as a that interview could well be a podcast that's still available yes. on the RNZ national yes site. on the website there's a very good one with um, a podcast on the Nomad website as well mm-hmm. that's another one I would recommend mm-hmm. thank you very much Sharon Ha <laughs>